All right, good day guys. Today we're gonna to be installing a whole home surge protection device on our GE PowerMark Gold panel. Uh, as you can see here, there's a couple of issues that we're gonna run into with this installation that you may have yourself after I've added the, uh, the uh, wall box for the EV. Um, you know, I had to think about it and of course I've been trying to be sold a whole home surge protection device by FPL and uh, others, essentially any contractor that comes into my house for uh, electrical or HVAC work wants to sell me one. So I found this device here that fits. Looks like the install is going to be extremely easy. Um, but the issue is here, we've run out of space on our panel now to install that breaker. So what we're going to do, install a double breaker to replace this one here for the disposal and dishwasher. Uh, so it'll be many kind of like these at the bottom and I'm going to move them all down one and that should give me just enough space up here to install the whole home surge protection device. So first things first, let's get the power shut off. All right, let's turn off the power. And then do not forget to turn off the main. So a tip for when you're inside the panel here to remember these two lines that feed the main breaker there are still hot. They still have got voltage. So avoid those um, like your life depends on it because it very well does. So I've used my meter here to verify there's no voltage here at the downstream of the main breaker. So you measure, you know, to, to verify you had voltage, you measure across there, 240, from the black to the white was 120, and red to white, 120 also. So that's how I know that those lines are still hot, but I measured, did the same thing with these and had less than one volt. So that means it is safe to work on this section here. Again, avoid the top. As you can see here, I've already moved one. I'll demonstrate how to remove this. You pull from the back and tilt it forward. And so I'm just going to move it down one and then just got a little hook and you push it in the back. And there we go. I'm going to continue this uh, all the way up here. I'm going to, all right, I'm now at the double 20 that I'm going to replace. So I'm actually going to start by taking out, loosening these two screws here pulling these wires out. Now remember the orientation. Uh, the reason why I'm moving all of these down one is so that way the labeling on the panel is still going to match up with just the surge protector being on top. Also, uh, it is recommended to have the whole home surge protector installed at the top of the breakers. And loose and we'll just pull this wire up here all right we'll continue on with this guy right here all right should be loose there we go so now we're going to remove this breaker completely and install the other one. All right, so here's the new breaker we're gonna install. You see there's a torque spec on there. So we're gonna get the torquing uh, screwdriver out to do this in just a second. We're just gonna reattach those wires, make sure you loosen it so that clamp will open up. So when you loosen this set screw, it will push that down and open up that mouth there. So you just slide it in and uh, lock it down. All right, so I've got it in here and just a little loose to make sure it's in the right spot. We're gonna to torque this once it's on the panel. All right, as you can see here, we got it all moved down and now we have enough space to install the surge protector. So as you can see here, I'm test fitting the uh, surge protector. Now it does say that you should trim this to be as short as possible. And so if I'm gonna go right here to this top lug, 
I could honestly take off quite a bit of wire here. So I think I'm gonna do that. And uh, trim it somewhere around here. It's just in case I miss that top one, be a little bit more in there. And I'm still taking off more than half of the wire on here. All right, you see we trimmed off some wire here. Let's get it into the panel. always hear that nice firm click see even though I trimmed off quite a bit of wire there's still quite a lot left but I'm still gonna get it attached here into this neutral panel just gonna need both hands for that all right you see we got it in the panel here and our new double one here and I like this because everything is still gonna be labeled correctly on the note inside of the panel it's just uh, you have to take into account the two spaces taken by the surge protector so let's get this back on and turn the power on. All right, let's turn the power on. Oh, it looks like we got a green light. Looks like we've done the job correctly. Turn the rest of this on. All right, there we go. We'll just tighten up these screws and we're all done. All right, so now as you can see here where the labeling is, just maybe need to change some of these numbers, but the benefit is everything's just been moved down. So the numbers should still match up. And it's really good to know that we are now protected. So I noticed that there's a three year warranty on this thing. So we'll go ahead and make a note of this in our calendar and check it again in three years. Let's say thank you for watching the video. I hope it was informative. I hope uh, you uh, feel confident enough to take on this job and uh, now have the ability to do it safely. Uh, so like and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this and uh, I hope you decide to come back and uh, learn a thing or two with me. All right, thank you very much.